How is it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be discussing player pick packs and just, you know, how they are in packs, you know, what I think about them, what I think their pack probability usually is, whether I think they're worth it to actually get them in packs as opposed to the rating of the card, etc, etc. And I wanted to go into it first of all by discussing the sponsor of this video, which is SCD Keys. SCD Keys is an official platform to buy and sell both PlayStation prepaid cards, Microsoft Keys, Steam Keys, Game Keys, Origin Keys, Uplay Keys, any kind of keys you can, you can imagine, whether you want to buy your favorite games, whether you want to buy Microsoft points, whether they want to buy FIFA points, whether you want to buy PlayStation cards, etc. It is an official platform that sells all of these different things. On the website, PlayStation 50 pound codes are actually 62 USD and you can use a 3% discount code on top of that to make it even cheaper using FF19 is the code they gave me obviously for FIFA 19 and it being released. Uh, they gave me that code and 50 pounds is 62 USD. Now if we look at the conversion rates of that, uh, conversion, I can't even spell. If we look at the conversion rates of $62.60, uh, minus obviously 3% after that, it's £47.44, and and then you get another 3% minus off of that, which usually works out about £45-ish, pounds, somewhere across that mark. So it's cheaper than actually buying it from a store, buying it from the PlayStation Store, etc., and it gives you a decent discount. Same thing for obviously Xbox. Now, if we were to take USD 6376, this is obviously before the 3% discount. It works out roughly the same. So if I were you, I'd buy quickly because as you can see here, prices have been going up. What usually happens is that the demand outweighs the supply completely uh, and it completely pushes it out of the market. Equilib equilib I can never say that word, equilibrium, uh, which means that prices usually go above the actual cost of the card because they can't sell anymore. So they just bump the prices up to stop people buying it. Uh, that's usually what happens, but it's really easy to navigate the site. You can go with anything along the top row, whether you go gift cards, PC, PlayStation, Uplay, Xbox, Origin. For example, if we go Xbox, it gives us everything on Xbox with the best deals as well, and it tells you how much percent off in the top right. Now, you can even uh, redeem a 3% code on all of these cards by saying uh, FF19 gives you a 3% off. So everything you see here, set the percentage off, and then add another 3% off, uh, and, and it's easy as that. It, it's really, really easy to navigate through this site, and it's uh, it's actually a really, really cool site. I do enjoy this site. I've used this site a, long, a lot. You know, I've used sites like G2A. I've used sites like CD Keys, and I do I do like SCD Key as well. I think it's a really good site. The one thing I think is actually cool, and one thing I would use this site for a lot, uh, mainly, is stuff like Office and, and Windows. Windows 10 is $14 on this site. It's a 74% discount from their previous purchase. And also, if you use code FF10, you get 10% off with the uh, with Microsoft and PC uh, codes, for example. Like Microsoft Office Professional Plus, instead of being $230, it's $35 minus an extra $3.50. It's about $31.50. So it's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. I think this site is pretty dope. Now, I want to thank them again for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the packs. So in this first one, I want to start off by saying that this is actually a free 5k pack, I think it was. Uh, I got this just from a, a normal pack. And I actually got an 81 to 83 rated player pick. So I wanted to actually uh, add that into the video because I thought that was pretty cool that I got, a, uh, I got an 81 to 83 rated player pick. That's kind of unusual, and especially from a free pack. I thought I just thought it was a pretty cool addition to get in a pack, and uh, it wasn't the best of player picks. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that you know you got to get really lucky to get some of the high end players in player picks. But it was decent nonetheless, you know, we'll take it. And I think that player picks are pretty worth it for the 81 to 83 variant. Now, I don't know if we're going to get team of the week player picks. I don't know if we're going to get uh, wants to watch player picks like it's in the code or not. And I don't know if we're going to get anything higher than 81 to 83. But I've got a bunch of 75 to 80s and they're okay, but they're not fantastic. I do prefer, obviously, the 81 to 80, uh, 83, sorry. And obviously, obviously, like, it's higher rated, so why wouldn't I prefer it? But from going through all the footage and looking at the player picks I have... I really didn't have too many, and I thought I had more than that, and a lot of them were on stream, so I can't really use the footage because I didn't save the stream footage. Um, but looking through it, a lot of the packs that I've opened, truthfully, I think that it's way more worth it to get a uh, to get a player pick than than to try your luck and getting like an 83 rated card. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot more to getting player picks that you can actually pick from that sells as opposed to getting uh, an 83 rated card and end up being. Uh, Jared Moreno, this the Spanish striker. So I think that truthfully, player picks are definitely a lot more worth it. But obviously, you don't get the choice of getting a player pick or an 83 rated player in a pack. And if you did, 
I think that'd be pretty cool. Now, I'm hoping we get some SBCs for player picks. And if we do, I'm trying to think of uh, what kind of SBCs we get and what kind of formula. And truthfully, I can imagine it being if it's an 81 to 83, we probably get an 81 rated squad. Or maybe just a, a squad full of gold players that are rare or something. Um, we might see with our first promotion, obviously, being ones to watch on the 28th, we'll probably see something like that come into play where it's going to be like uh, that. that's going to be the first thing we see in terms of SBCs. We're going to get some like special SBCs for uh, for the play pick packs. But obviously, we will have to, we will have to see, sorry, uh, when we get the ones to watch um, promotion and whether we get SBCs. And if we do, maybe there's going to be a ones to watch player pick. Maybe that's going to be their new thing where instead of actually it being, uh, for example, uh, a wants to watch card in a pack you get a wants to watch player pick now the main reason i say that is because if we look back or we don't even need to look back we can look at some of these sbcs if we look at for example the defensive uh development sbc as you see with completing this sbc you actually get a gold uh player pick now you need a a bronze center back partnership i don't know if you need chemistry or not but we'll just ship these guys in do you need special chemistry? You don't. So I can go ahead and submit that. And I get, I believe, a 75 to 80 rated player pick or just an 80, yeah, max 80 rated overall center back. So if we go to the pack section, this could be how all of the packs work. And it's not there. What? Not entirely sure where my other player pick went, but uh, we'll, we'll use these guys in here instead. And maybe they'll come all at the same time at the end. I'm not entirely sure. Claim reward. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if I have to do all three of these SBCs or not. But I still think it's pretty cool that uh, that we get this stuff, I guess. Um, okay, regardless, let's just use these guys and see if we get chemistry or not. Okay, we've got the chemistry, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. We'll use all three of these guys. Let's see if we actually get the rewards at the end now. Um, I just wanted to go through and show you guys, you know, what it looks like to get a play pick from an SBC. I'm assuming this is how it's going to work. Okay, there we go. Yep, we do. Uh, now, obviously, we have to redeem all four of these at the same time. So, with an uh, wants to watch SBC, it'll just be one. So, um, as you see here, like we go for the gold, S uh, the gold striker. Uh, this could be a wants to watch easily, and uh, I would go obviously with Yovatitz because he's the highest rated that I don't own. Um, same with like a center mid, and I'm super excited to do this on the Road Glory as well. I think this is really, really cool. One of the coolest features that they've done is bring up stuff like this, where you get to choose uh, the players that you get to bring in the squad. I think this is great for Road Glories, uh, and it's great for for stuff like that. So um, I'm definitely going to be excited to use this in the Road to Glory. Um, but I hope, hopefully, we can get something like this for for Wants to Watch. I really do hope that we can get something similar for Wants to Watch. Um, I'm going to go with Gomez there because he's from the Premier League, and then obviously we get to choose whether we keep or sell these. These are tradable but with a one stock tradable player pick it would be you would get to like flick it up and sell it for example so let me know what you think down below once again thank you to scd keys for sponsoring this video i really appreciate it and uh thank you all for the support if you guys weren't supporting my videos i wouldn't be in the position to get a sponsor for a video so i'd really do appreciate that too thank you all for watching and i'll see you lads later